They spend a lot of time, probably too much time focusing on the importance of brand positioning, helping companies differentiate themselves, being clear about what they do, who they serve and, and why they matter. I see the pendulum swinging from data to brand strategy and the importance of brand positioning. So I'm hoping that a lot of marketers are thinking the same way that, that you're thinking. I, I read a post on LinkedIn today from Pip Laja talking about his conference that he's holding called Spring and the topics that marketers want to talk about. Positioning and messaging are almost at the top of the list, just behind go-to-market strategies. I'm very encouraged by that because it's so important. And often it's not seen as a priority. It's not as top of mind for a lot of CEOs and entrepreneurs. I'm glad you say that. I, I think we're aligned there. For me as a marketer, what's frustrating, just me being on social media and things that trigger me now is, is more people talking too much about tactics instead of the fundamentals. I feel like we've gone away as a marketing community from just a focus on the fundamentals. I, I fully agree. Positioning and messaging is probably the number one thing that you need to get from the very beginning. And then everything else falls into place. If a company has product market fit, you can almost do anything wrong and you can still grow as a business because you, you have the product market fit. But I feel so many people try to grow businesses before they have really refined positioning and messaging or product market fit. And they, they talk about all these tactics that they're doing, but you have to get the fundamentals right before you can do anything to scale a business. It's, it's the same thing when it comes to content. You have to have something valuable to say, something different. Even when we're talking about producing content for our own site or content for other businesses, it's always, what are you guys doing differently than other people? What are your unique opinions? How are you approaching this differently? All those things are what's going to produce compelling content and what's going to differentiate your content versus other people's. That's not going to be able to be replicated by it because if you're some business and you have a unique way of doing things that your competitors aren't doing, they're not going to be writing about that stuff. They're not going to be talking about it. It just starts there. Mm -hmm. I don't think enough companies think about that before hiring content marketers or even hiring marketers in general.